Bridge with those bitter temps in the forecast, he checked in with some local experts on what it takes to close schools and how to ensure your family stays safe over the next few days. Saying this week will be cold isn't quite accurate. It's going to be dangerously cold. With wind chills expected to sink well below zero, expect some schools to cancel classes. So when you become a superintendent, you also become a junior meteorologist. For the Niagara Falls School District, when temps hit a certain point, they close. When you get to be 20 to 30 below zero consistently, that makes the decision easy. We're going to close schools. With frostbite setting in in as little as 5 to 10 minutes at those temperatures, it's just not safe for kids to walk to school. And if you think your child is suffering from frostbite, change them out of wet, cold clothes. Use warm water on the cold part of the body, never hot. If you notice that, you know, fingertips, the toes are extremely white, they're extremely numb, and none of that sensation is coming back, then they should get seen uh, and evaluated for that. And if it is a snow day or a cold day for you this week, the Buffalo Fire Department is asking for two things. Dig out your fire hydrant, and if your pipes freeze, don't use an open flame to warm them up. If you have some frozen pipes, call a professional. There's a right way to do it. And have an open flame in, in, in a crawl space, trying to thaw your pipes out is not the way to go. With a winter storm warning in effect for Tuesday afternoon, the mayor's office will have a media briefing Tuesday morning to go over plans for the snow and, more importantly, the cold. Reporting in Buffalo, Jeff Rusak, 7 Eyewitness News. And as Jeff just mentioned, you're going to have to watch out for frostbite over the next few days. It can happen in as few as 10 minutes. Yeah, it really can. But do you actually know what the different types of frostbite look like? Well, according to the Mayo Clinic, the first stage is frost nip. That's when your fingers turn red and you start to lose feeling. This won't cause any permanent damage if you go inside and then warm up. If you stay out, though, and your skin starts to feel warm, you have superficial frostbite. Your skin will look waxy. You'll probably develop some blisters. Deep frostbite, though, is really bad. Your skin may turn blue, gray, or even black. You need to see a doctor immediately. There are some things you can do right now to get ahead of this storm. We've compiled seven tips from the experts. You can find them and Andy's up-to-date forecast 24-7 by downloading the WKBW app.